Good afternoon, Speed Gaming. Welcome to week two of the Zelda 1 Randomizer 2022 tournament. Uh, today we have King Doll versus Nochibato. Both are 1 and 0 after the first week, both coming off of big wins and uh, getting ready for round two. In me with the booth today is Jiggly Saint. How are you, sir? Doing okay. All right, so this uh, matchup, uh, we're looking at a good one here. Uh, both runners are pretty evenly matched. Uh, anything you're looking forward to in this, Jiggly? Um, well, I mean, usually I say, oh, hey, let's see, maximum troll. But you know what? I like to see seeds that are, you know, nice and evenly matched. You know, I like to like to see it where both runners can, you know, sort of keep up with one another. Absolutely. Uh, a lot of the time, those good puzzle seeds tend to do that, and it uh, really evens out the playing field. Uh, less about luck and more about finding what you need. Oh, and we're God. off, and we're starting on the south coast. Ooh, whiz robes on the overworld. Okay, so that's actually not bad. Yeah, it depends on the runner. Uh, a lot of runners do prefer them to be in the overworld. Yeah, the advantage of Wizrobes being on the overworld is that you're not going to run into a uh, eight blue Wizrobes uh, guarding a Triforce piece. But at the same time, you're also going to get nasty ones like, for example, the uh, screen before level six full of blue Wizrobes. That'll make it absolutely, uh, absolutely infuriating to try and get there. Okay. Oh. Yeah, this usually will make it a little bit difficult of a start if there's a lot of whiz robes here in the overworld but uh that once combat right away. that's always a nice find and that was over in the northeast armos yep I'm not gonna do a whole lot if these uh ropes uh, rolled up here we go we got money and what do we got for money it is ooh 52 that is bad oh that is Nearly the worst you can have. Oh no. Oh no. And that's what you don't want to see though. You don't want to see a really small large secret and then find a really ex This He's gonna get a premium. Now, here we yeah, go. This, a this seat is not helping them out financially and uh, this may lead to some later problems too. Yeah. So we did see you take any lead all the way up to Death Mountain. Just just one screen shy of a uh, vanilla. And there we go. We get a level 5 right away. Nachibato going to do the pirouette trick. And looks like decided to nope out of there too. Yeah, probably going to go towards this, uh, which uh, could very well be our item. Oh, here we go. We get another take any. Ooh, that's not bad. Yes, yeah, so that gives us the third of the take any's, and uh, it does spread us out pretty far so far, and uh, looking like they'll be able to actually utilize it this time around. Okay, our expensive keys were 91, our uh, cheap keys are 83. So, and I mean cheat, I mean cheap in quotation marks, of course. So the last two of our take any's ended up near Vanilla Start and up in the Lost Hills uh, at the level 5 location. So Yeah, that, that's we... not a great place for it, mainly because that's still out of the way. Oh, it looks like our Armos item is going to be in the forest. Yeah, it's going to be in one of those last two locations. They're off in the east by level two. And uh, King Doll here is finding level five also. King Doll opt also opting not to dig level five immediately. Yeah, when you're that close to an Armos you haven't checked, it's uh, it's always yeah. a good idea to go check it first. Also, Najibado going to brave the uh, blue levers to try and get up to oh oh 
Ooh. Going after that one lone cave just west of vanilla level 9. But of course, it looks like all of these uh, monsters are conspiring to say nope. Yeah, getting some tight quarters in there, a lot of enemies, and one hit to die. There we go, we make it, and just a uh, door repair charge. Yeah, definitely what you don't want to see when you go through all that effort to get up there, but it's information. I think King Doll is trying to wait until they get bombed for him to that level 5. Ooh, four! Oh, that's disgusting! Wow, this is a deluxe poverty seed. You know, as all of Z Cards Fan 23 would say. Yeah, I think all we're missing is about a 25 or a 26 mid secret, and uh, we'll be set. Oh, I'm sure the mid secret's gonna be like what? But here we go, though. We do have the blue moblins, you know, dying to one candle hit. So that's actually really nice because they are bomb droppers. Ah, here we go. The ropes are normal. And it looks like our almost item is going to be in that final spot with the small secret usually is. Yeah, Nachibato is just one screen away now. So we're going to get to find out what we have. Oh, there's a medium secret. Oh, you look, one above normal. And there we go. Look at that magic key right away. This is uh, it, going to be... Well, you know what? Uh, let's put it this way. We're not going to be key blocked in this. It doesn't mean that it can't work against you. Yeah, having that any key does take a lot of early seed worries off your plate, but uh, still plenty to worry about at this point, such no. as finding the wood sword. Well, at this point now, there's two things that could be a problem. Number one, finding and purchasing the wooden arrows. And number two, having enough money on hand in order to actually use those uh, wooden arrows. And what did we see what was on the coast? Is that the power bracelet? Uh, it was really quick, but it did look like the croissant. Well, it's breakfast time somewhere in this world. I was being good. I didn't call it the sausage roll. <laughs> oh no, you watched the VOD. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Although, I don't think I'm going to call it the croissant much longer. That'll be the sausage roll for me from now on. Here we go. Entrance to level 6's uh, location. Not really that bad. And what do we have? Oh, just a, uh, just a shop. Still haven't found the wood sword yet. No, no. Dutch about is covering quite a bit of ground here, so uh, we may end up seeing it pretty oh, soon, but does find the go. arrow shop. Yeah, the arrow shop, 69 rupees. So, that's Lower than normal, but, you know, still, you've got to have some money in order to actually buy those arrows. And you're yeah. going to need something to shoot those arrows from, too. That's right, and uh, even though they are on the inexpensive side, it's still quite a bit more than our large secret on this seat. Yeah, inexpensive doesn't mean a whole lot when your uh, secrets... Oh, there we go, there's the sword. But yeah, if your secrets are really low, then even just trying to get 69 rupees... It's going to be quite the ordeal. King Doll was on the opposite side of the world from that wood sword, but uh, decided to up an A and may end up working towards it here pretty soon. So uh, we might have a fairly even start finding this uh, weapons. Yeah. But of course, uh, we've only found one dungeon so far. So I think a lot of our dungeons are going to be uh, definitely locked behind. Ooh, there we... That's the problem with the candle, is uh, depending on what direction, 
Um, you can I you can either burn it if you're standing next to it or not. There we go. We got a magic sword. I don't think the magic sword's gonna come into play. There's not really any levels around here. There's no level nine. If level nine was around here, then maybe. Yeah, it is very close to the starting location, so it may come into play, but we'll just have to see. Ah, here we go. Here's level eight. King Doll is going to uh, take a look around, see what we got here. All right, we got gels. The gels, okay, gels are not too bad. We got Aquamentus. Aquamentus goes down two bombs, leaves a vanilla heart container. And we got Gibdos. Ooh, and that Gibdo room may be a item too. It's hard to tell. Yeah, the problem is though is the uh, blue candle is not going to be enough to take down a Gibdo, even if they did roll down. Yeah, that'll uh, definitely be an incentive for Kingdall to go back. Uh, having a room that quickly in the level that could be an item, um, you definitely want to take mental note of that and keep that reserved for uh, quick play. That might be a possible advantage for Nachibato, who does have a wood sword. Nachibato does have the wood sword, but doesn't yet have a candle. I think they're closing in on the uh, take any, though. If take any was what? At that two, uh, level 2 position, or, or was it again? I believe there was one close to the don't start. Oh, five dollar bombs. That's actually really nice to see. And in a in a poverty stricken seed like this, five dollar bombs, I'll, you'll take it. Absolutely. Uh, I was halfway expecting them to be between thirty five and forty on this seed. Here's level four. Level 4 in a good location. I'm uh, just going to go in and start scoping it out with half a heart. Um, didn't up an A there, so... Hey, I'll hail Lord Banana. That is a nice place for a clock. Okay, those pose voice rolled up, I think. I ended up losing count on that, but it does look a little bit like they rolled up. And we have King Doll now finding the uh, wood sword or the wooden hockey stick at the 12 minute mark. Yep, that is right. Uh, King Doll is using a custom uh, sprite set. Here we go, does this push? It does not. So here we go, we got a Triforce. Quick and Triforce, gonna pass it up for right now and uh, come back to it after hopefully finding the item. So unfortunately, this is not the best place to have uh, Sword Beams, uh, you know, facing the Gliok, but it is better than the alternative, which is to get up in its face. If uh, Nachibato came in from the right, it would have been pretty much free. Yeah, finding a room like that and uh, not being able to get in from the right and just get in that location where you can't get hit makes it a little dip more difficult, but uh, doing a really good job here. Got three of the heads done and uh, working on the fourth. This noted. certain direction so like for example uh, for example if you were to burn a bush standing right next to it if you were standing uh, you know above it you could easily uh, push but if you're standing below it then the fire fortunately yeah it took an unfortunate death there and uh we get to play our first Name That Shape on King Doll's side. I uh, just found the map here in level 6, and I do not know what that looks like. Like a jelly? 
I'm almost thinking a Druin Lord from Dragon Warrior. Yeah, you know... Yeah, that was odd. Actually... But I mean, both of them have... Ooh, right north of level 6, Kingdall finds level 2. Uh, we have one floor item in here and the Triforce. Good news is, item could. Ooh, taking a sword beam straight. Yeah, I was doing a great job of clearing out all those Lionels, and the last one just. Ended up getting them. Another NSU full of bunnies. Could be something in here, but the good news about having the uh, or having the magic key is that you don't need to stop and clear rooms out to find more keys. Now this could very well be a push block room. We do have second quest rooms turned on. Not second quest doors, however. So we won't need to worry about push, you know. Yeah, and, uh, well, if this is segmented, that could be a push block room. Um, well, let's try to find out. It definitely could be a staircase room. That's, yes, correct. Yeah. So of course, levels one through four don't normally have staircase rooms. Levels five through eight do. Of course, nine has all of the staircase that rooms. Kingdom was able to uh, get a good bomb drop on those Lionels, too. A uh, force drop on a red Lionel. Ah, uh, here we go. Map of level two. What do we have? It is... Oh. That's an interesting shape. And look at that. It's triple segment. I'm going to call that level 2 a Canadian Goose with something over top of it. Okay, I could see that. Honk. Here we go, we got Red Candle. Wait, Red Candle, wait, hold on. Oh yeah, Red Candle was on... Not So, Red Candle early on in the seat, not not the worst thing. I mean, you still only have the wooden sword. You don't have any of the uh, stronger items like the wand or the bow. So, the Red Candle can at least do multiple shots at once. Yeah, and this early on, uh, the Red Candle uh, can be really nice, especially in a problematic bubble room where you keep losing your sword. Uh, you, you have something you can keep attacking with, and uh, even though it's only one HP of damage, not too like the arrows or the wand, it's um, still very helpful. A uh, Superman handler. And the worst part is, is, well, it's either guarding those two rooms of the top or that one lone room down. Those two yeah, this, uh, this level 2 is definitely proven tough on combat front, but uh, King Doll slowly but surely making his progress through. There's the compass. Well, there we go. The uh, Triforce is not one of those one-off staircases. Yeah, that's probably uh, quite a bit of a relief for King Doll right now, because uh, in those one-offs with uh, how bad the combat is in this level, it's one of those where you just usually would want to come back later when you have either more firepower or more life. Yeah, ideally you don't want to come back and do a short level like two, really. You just want to be over and done with. And I was pretty surprised that it's uh, Ooh, three hello. rooms away from the compass instead of one. I am Groot. But hey, we got our friends Patra. This is a Patra seed. Yeah, and that was the uh, expandulation variety too. 
expand delicious. King Doll's gonna keep trying to get to this item here and to uh, hopefully able to get to it without dying and uh, get that Triforce and get out. Oh, and, here we oh. go. We got a bit of old oh, King Doll picking up the cursed banana. Uh, that looked intentional, not a not a white blue banana. Well, that's what I mean. It was intentional, which makes it worse. Now here we go, we've got the uh, Dig Dogger. Do we have a Dig Dogger in this room? No we don't, just some scaly things. And, uh, surprisingly clearing all of them out to get that Triforce, but uh, either way, King Doll picks up the Triforce in level 2, and is going to be moving on to the next... Yeah, that level 2 actually turned out pretty well considering the uh, amount of, uh, you know, sections it had. Absolutely, uh, that could have been much, much worse. Oh, we found level 7. Not only is it level 7, it's way up there in Death Mountain. Oh, and here we go, we have a Dig Dogger block, but knowing block clips, is it an item? Nope, it's just a staircase. So this, anything past this staircase, if it's not connected to any other part of the map, is going to be out of logic. And we had uh, King Doll making a blue ring purchase, which uh, surprisingly was able to get enough money to get oh, it, and that, uh, just sword. enough for bombs. Ooh, the white nice sword. find. So if if we can't get anywhere, if we can't get to the anywhere, you know, part of this map from anywhere else, definitely an out of logic white sword. What about these guys? Oh, no. You're going to need a magic sword at the very least to take those down. He knows some free bombs. Ah, we got one map here. Do you figure... I don't think this will be the map. Oh, no, it's the compass. When the compass is like a... room, room away. Yeah, that's a one room away compass and uh, no easy access to it though. So we're either going to have to find a bomb hole or take a staircase to it. Here's a bomb hole. And we go south. Go south. Oh dear. Ooh, we cannot. So that means this area here is say the way. All right. So the path is uh, either staircase blocked, or uh, there's just a narrow one way to it. King Doll finding another take on E and uh, now has six hearts and is guaranteed the white sword item if you should find it. So, now that brings up uh, some interesting questions here. Um, we know that there is at least one dungeon that is going to be blocked by either the recorder, the raft, or the uh, power bracelet. Now the, now, the thing is here is if we know that the power bracelet is on the coast, that means the ladder is going to be 100% required. But don't forget, too, though, that it is also possible for more than one dungeon to be uh, blocked. And it's always possible that the white sword item could also be blocked, and that it could also have something important, such as the bow. So we could even be looking at a chain reaction seed here. Absolutely, uh... If you're not 100% sure where everything is, it's always a good idea to collect those items. Another take any for King Doll. Hi, 
I'd say for nearly uh, 30 minutes in, I'd say the seed is fairly healthy. Yeah, uh, even though we haven't had, you know, much in the way of getting Triforces, finding items, a lot of information has been gathered, and uh, it hasn't been overly difficult getting that information, so both runners are moving along at a pretty good clip here, and uh, we'll see where the rest of the seed takes them. Here we go, level 9. I think we already saw what was in here. Yeah, just some money. And now here we go, King Doll in level 7. King Doll is going to go up here. He's going to see that Dig Dogger is going to ignore that Dig Dogger using the secret trick of uh, block clipping. I think clipping uh, takes a whole different sense when you're playing as the hockey player. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, isn't clipping a penalty or something? I think so. Uh, I don't I'm know hockey too well. Yeah, I don't know hockey too well, despite the fact that I am Canadian. Okay, here we go. We've got the white hockey stick. Yeah, it's not the magical hockey stick, it's the, uh, I guess it would be the graphite one? I don't know, do they, what do they make them out of? Fiberglass, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, have the, uh, had the wood one, so yeah, fiberglass or graphite one now. So of course, as we know, we cannot house. here. Chibato noped out of the rest of the seven. I wonder if King Doll is going to continue to dig. We found the item. We're going to go down here. Nope, that's right. Nothing here. It's going to quit and I'm going to keep going here. I don't believe No Chibato went through this area of the level, so uh, we're going to see a little bit more here. Yeah, Nachibato noped out of the rest of the level, um, which was kind of interesting because maybe that they didn't have any keys. Yeah, it's definitely easy to forget that you have uh, the magical key when you get it so early and you're still looking for the sword and important items. Okay, Dodongo, who likes to walk on water? And we have a map, and what does the map look like? Oh. Um, okay. I've got nothing for that one. Although we do now see the path to the Triforce, and uh, you know King Doll's that gonna... That's a Beholder. Like a Dungeons and Dragons Beholder. There you go. Yeah. So you've got, like, the body that's kind of whatever, and then you've got, like, the hair tentacles out. And uh, King Doll noped out of that seven. Uh, the Triforce for that is arrow blocked. We had a Goma in a shutter room just before the Triforce, and only one way in there. Yeah. So it looks like Nachibato had the right idea by noping out of seven so quickly. So that that would be a good call. But of course, now King Doll has knowledge that the bow and arrows are going to be required. So they're probably going to work their way up to uh, purchase those $69 arrows. Yeah, it's uh, right now might be... Uh, King Doll might be kicking himself in the rear end for uh, buying the blue ring if he ends up finding the bow here shortly. There we go, Nachibato ignoring the blue banana.
Uh, Nochibot almost want the uh, wooden variety or the, the yellow banana. Well, I would prefer the banana that doesn't look like it's gone bad. There we go. Nope. Nope, doesn't push. Alright, on King Doll's End, uh, finished off the main part of Death Mountain, so I uh, decided to do an up and A, and working along the south coast here, so we may be finding out shortly what the ladder item is. There we go, we found level 6. Yeah, Nochibata's in a little bit better position for uh, digging this 6 than King Doll was when he made it in, so we might yeah, get to see a little bit more. It's going to be a little more difficult to get those uh, dark nuts over the water, but you can reset the room, so... And there's always this uh, clip here that Nochibata is going to do, I think. Looks like waiting for a bomb. Yep. I know, bomb. Here we go. Map. Oh, we were in here. Yeah, that's right. This is the one that looked kind of like, yeah, that's right. We were completely ladder blocked out of this one. Yeah, I forgot to note that down. I thought King Doll noped out with the uh, dark nuts. No, I think King Doll didn't. Well, yeah, no, King Doll didn't nope out with the dark nuts. But here we go. This is the room that uh, well, I think King Doll was in earlier and couldn't do anything in. push block it is is it an item it is it is and it is lord banana all hail king dog gonna uh, refuse to pick up that banana it's what it is is that the boomerang you know for some players they, they don't use it very much and it just you know it adds an extra cycle to uh you know the select swap And uh, there aren't very many of us, but uh, keyboard players too, uh, like myself. Uh, select swap, I use shift, and uh, I try to keep it to where I never have to hit shift more than four times in a row, because then sticky keys will turn on and really mess up the seed. I, I have it set to tab. There you go. Yeah, but then I have this problem where it's like I'm sh I, I go through it, and then I miss the item, and then I have to shuffle through it. And then I miss it again, and I do that about four or five times because muscle memory. Or sometimes the lack of muscle memory. Yeah, it's easy to do. And that is a large level 8 with King Doll finding the map. A large level 8 is, of course, part of the course. got mold orms in this dungeon. I don't see mold orms that much. No, well, not really. And, uh, this is already the second or third set in this dungeon, so uh, hopefully we got quite a few mold orms in here. Well, I would definitely take mold orms over land molars or patras. Very much so. And, uh... At this point, Nachibato just found level 8 also, so uh, both players are in here. See who can find what the quickest. There we go, there is the floor heart. And here is the room that... Uh, King Doll said no to, but then King Doll also does have the uh, magic boomerang, so the regular boomerang will do nothing. Well, no, she thought of making quick work of that room, uh, utilizing both the red candle and the white sword, and we got a transport staircase on King Doll's side. Mm 
What does it leave us? It leaves us down here and oh. Can we do it? Yeah, we can go down here. Yeah, this is uh, just one room south of the uh, starting location, I think, and I do want to say it was blocked off, so this looks like it may not be able to uh, get oh, in here without. That. We are Dig Dogger blocked. So along with that uh, illegal uh, white sword in level 7, it looks like this way is going to be blocked off by the recorder. Yeah, King Doll ran out of bombs. I was un unable to check and see if he could bomb to the left there. Ah, uh, we still got more patches to deal with here. So we have still one more outstanding item as well as the Triforce here in this gate. Nochipato uh, doing a good job getting that Patra finished off with one heart left. Decided not to take that transport just yet and uh, try to find out a little bit more here as we got a Patra in the very next room. Hey, there we go. There are our land bolas. Yeah, fortunately for Nochipato, these are the uh, slow, easy kind to get. Well, I would rather deal with the lazy linguine than the speedy spaghetti. I should call the blue ones the zoom and zedis. <laughs> Nochibato finishing off these dark knots, gonna get his map. Room with blue dark knots. Not the worst room, but still kinda hard. You gotta It was able to lure them all in coming from different directions, get a good bomb placement in there. Looks like we might have a workaround to it, and uh, another possible push block room, but nothing doing here. Looks like we are able to get over. Uh, not sure if we'll be able to go down though after getting to the left on King Doll's side. Now yeah, we can. This room doesn't have anything of uh, note unless it's got the. Uh... Nope, doesn't have a compass. Well, looks like we do have the second item on Nochibato's side. get in here. There we go. And it is the ladder. Oh boy. That is a huge find for Nochibato right there. And stabbed it a couple times. Uh, probably feeling really behind finding the ladder at 36 minutes in that close to the beginning of the seed, but uh, doesn't realize that I actually found it before King Doll. Yeah, that's one of the things about running is that facing against opponents, especially opponents that are well matched, you can be like, oh, how did I not see that sooner? My, my opponent must have seen that thing first thing, right? 
but sometimes that's not how it works. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of luck involved with routing, and uh, when you do feel like you found something pretty late, you're not always late to the uh, late to the punch on it. It's a call for runners that are behind. I think it's just safety because it's better to err on the side of humility than on the side of pride. You got it. And it looks like the one room in that south portion King Gall hasn't been in is where our Triforce is located. South Docker Block? It may have been. Oh, isn't that going to be something? So imagine this situation here. So they get the Triforce out of 8, you need to get that ladder, you need to get the power bracelet to find a level that's got the quarter. Yeah, this is already uh, getting the makings of a very big puzzle seed, but King Doll is going over, hurrying up, get that power bracelet. And we're going to see if that hides any levels for us. Oh, hold on a second. No, King Doll can't because King Doll didn't find the, the ladder. Oh, that's right. Nachibato got it. It's Nachibato who's got the ladder. That's right. Nachibato found that ladder in 8 and is still looking for that Triforce. And it looks like we found a way past the Dig Dogger block. So... Yeah, I'm able to get right in there. there. That's right. I think not King Doll was here. Uh, here we go. Here's level 1. Oh, I'm Nutchbato noped out and uh, up aid one room away from the Triforce. So that's one potential room that could have an item that is blocked. Here, Triforce. Now there is also a floor. There's the map. Okay, that's a, that's a pretty simple level one. Yeah, that's uh, very manageable. Make your way through one way and then uh, up A and make your way through the second way. And we got the silver arrows. Ooh, wow. Okay, so that's good. So those 69 arrows that we saw, not going to be required this seed. And then the silver arrow also opens up the uh, Triforce in level 7, as There's we see the, the Triforce. Triforce in 1. I thought the Triforce in 1 was at the Ganon. Oh yeah, that's right, it can't be, because Ganon's room never has a drop. And my eyes must have been playing tricks on me. Uh, there was a key in that room. Uh, it'll never do a room clear drop. It, if it has an item, it will be already on the floor when you walk uh, in. Ah, okay. Now we are looking for a staircase in this level one. But meanwhile, looks like we've got Nachibato uh, with another Patra. Taking down the Patra. Yeah, that ended up being a nice Patra fight for Nachibato, uh, getting the Master Eye out of it. Oh, look uh, at that. Quickly. We have a bomb. Uh, ooh, okay. So it's vanilla. So rolled up. Yeah, a little bit on the expensive side, but definitely something welcome for Nachibato. Yeah, especially since we don't need to worry about those. Oh, look at that. The raft here is in one. All right, so the only potential uh, blocking item we have left to find in this seed is the recorder. So now that's interesting. So that we have King Doll with the raft and uh, Nachibata with the potential to get that power bracelet. That's correct. And here we go, we've got level 3, it is raft blocked. Anybody in chat hoping for a raft block this seed? You've got it. Alright, I believe that is every level covered except for 9. Yep. 
running on bases too, so that could actually be blocked by some. Okay, that's good. The uh, at the very least, the buyers do go down in a uh, magic sword hit. There we go. There's a. Yeah, there we go. Make sure you take down all the wall masters first, just in case you get that clock. Yeah, I was getting a little bit worried for King Doll right there. Uh, didn't seem like he waited to see if there were any more wall masters coming out, but probably knew that's that was the last one. There we go, good old Rupee boss. Ooh, those Gorillas uh, did roll down, so that's nice to see. And this looks like it could be our push block room here. Nope, we have a shutter door. Oh, shutter, oh shoot. Didn't see that shutter door. Funny how sometimes you just don't see stuff. Yeah, it's easy to miss when you see that block, you get excited. Yeah, kind of like in this room, the Nachibato's in. Hey, look, this looks like it might be. Oh, there's a shutter door. Did King Del get crabbed? Yeah, he got wall mastered. Ooh. That might work out because now we can go and take this pathway. We know yeah. the Triforce is this. Yeah, also, uh. Wow, yeah. That's a lot of bunnies. Oof, yeah, Ooh, that's a uh, long straight level three. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to see the map to this level. And this right here is one of the worst rooms to have pull voices in if you don't have the arrows. And, uh, we have the map now, and uh, yeah. This level's a little thicker than I was expecting, but not much. Hey, that's good. There's the uh, floor heart. Nope, this one still can't have a push block. Probably the room off to the left, though. That feels like that's where the item's located. Yeah, the, uh, the last room to check. That's usually where it is. Or it's in here. It's all digged up. Second to last room. <laughs> oh, the bow. So the bow is dig dogger blocked, a hundred percent. Well, not maybe not a hundred percent, but um, did did he up a before he got that, or I think he up a before he got that. I didn't see him put the bow over his head. Yeah, and I don't have the audio, so. I didn't hear if he got it, but he got it. Okay. Yeah, maybe it was one of those, if you up A on the exact same moment, you get, you know, you don't have A. Thing. I know that it is very possible to up an A just as you rescue the princess and still go back to uh, the entrance of the dungeon. Yeah, that's a frame perfect move there. Well, I did that once. Yeah, so we are now a little bit over 45 minutes into the seed, and uh, both runners are tied at three Triforces, and each one has a different advantage. Right now, Nochibato has the ladder and the capability to get the power bracelet on the coast. Well... Yeah, and meanwhile, uh, King Doll definitely has the you know, overworld block. We still haven't found the white sword item yet. I think. Yeah, no, I don't think we have. No, we have not. Uh, oh. <clears throat> no, that's the, that's the magic sword. Yep. We do have the white sword. 
Alright, so Nochibato, I believe, is now completely done with this level 1, so I'm gonna get out of here. Yep. Uh, so yeah, both runners uh, each have their own advantages right now, uh, but this is still a very close race. Yeah, so King Doll has the ability to pick up that Triforce that was blocked in... What, what, what level was that? The... Uh, level 7. Level 7, yeah. So, And then, of course, you know, there's still the question of the Recorder. Now, we know that the Recorder is technically required this seed because we did see a Dig Dogger, but it was in a Diamond Staircase, so Block Clipping was able to circumvent that. That's correct. Yeah. That's one of the reasons why uh, one of the flag sets that uh, you can choose is to get rid of all those uh, diamond staircases. So that it means that you don't, you know, don't have to worry about that. Or you, I mean, you do have to worry about that, but... There we go, Nachibato finally making their way to the coast. And of course, with no oh, Nachibato does get the uh, raft in one. So now, at that point in time, I think Nachibato would be ahead. Uh, yeah, probably going to be digging the uh, bow up here out of three, and uh, you know, having the ladder and potentially a one Triforce lead. It's it's definitely uh, working into Nachibato's favor right now. Yeah. There we go. Not, ooh. No, Nachibato's going to go up here. The right answer was to go to the right. But of course, you can't know that just by walking into a dungeon which way to go. Yeah, this dungeon is pretty linear, though, so it shouldn't take too long. Okay, now here we go. King Doll back here in level 7. Uh, get the map now, so able to find the workaround and uh, get in and get out of here. We never did find that Triforce in 8, did we? Uh, we know where it was at, and uh, it is accessible. There's that Goma. Ooh, nice. That go blue Goma rolled down on hit points, so only took one silver arrow to finish off, and King Doll now has the Triforce out of seven. You know, I just realized it would, would have been a kick in the pants as if that Triforce was actually uh, ladder blocked. Or recorder blocked. Yeah, that would have been bad. I mean, I would have liked to have seen a recorder block, because then that would have justified the recorder block and the other items. Yeah, even though the seed's being a little bit trolly, it's not being too horrible for the runners. Yeah. Some runners have luck, some runners don't. I can attest to that. Uh, if there's any form of bad luck to be found, I will find it. And uh, Nochibato closing in on that room where the uh, bow is at. Uh, I think only a room or two away. And... I believe it was to the... Oh! Got bopped by a bunny. Yeah, picked off once I entered the room. I uh, saw that hurt container and was going straight for it, but got clipped. <laughs> okay, there we go. King Doll. I think we know where King Doll's uh, loyalties lie, and it's with the banana. There's that Triforce. 
Of course, we know the red candle is here. Too bad King Doll could definitely use a ladder to get by this Gleok. Just gonna, just gonna face tank it. Yeah, not a bad idea. Still having a potion left, uh, being able to just get right through it. There we go, Nachibato picking up that map. We are going to have to eliminate all of these bunnies. Not a pro Oh, that's right. The bow's behind here. So oh, That's right. Yeah, so you absolutely need to uh, hurt, stab the bunnies in order to get that bow. Which is something you kind of don't want to really have to see. Because, like I said, 12 hits. I guess 6 hits with the uh, white sword. Nachibato getting a good block clip there on the Dig Dogger and getting his bow and gonna hurry up get that Triforce and get out of this level 3. I think our big question right now is how long is it going to take King Doll to get back into that level 8 and get his ladder? Uh, may end up taking a little while here, but going to run out of uh, Triforces once it gets through level 5, so shouldn't be too long. Yeah, and, and we do have uh, confirmation that the ladder is going to be required because level 6 was completely ladder blocked, thanks to that Chevy room. Yeah, and that's that was a quick find out, uh, just being in the second room in. And speaking of items that could possibly be in 6, um, obviously the red ring still outstanding, the recorder, the, the wand, and the book. And we still haven't seen the, uh, still haven't seen the uh, white sword item yet. And of course we haven't seen what's in level 5 either, and we're gonna, King Gaul is going to find that out. Oh, King Doll not being able to get that map. We have a way around. Oh, we don't. Oh, no. Oh, look at that. And the Triforce is ladder blocked. Yeah, uh, this is actually good news for King Doll. It's going to force him uh, back into level 8 really quickly. Oh, here we go. Speaking of ladder block, we do have Nachibato back in level 6. Now the problem is though is that because that you know because that map was ladder blocked that's going to make it more difficult to you know figure out which way to go here. We're gonna have to find the bomb wall here. We have a bomb wall. Yes, we do. Here we go. We're gonna see the rest of level six. And here we go. Here is the item. It is the book. That's actually going to be helpful because well, first of all we do not have the uh, wand. Yeah, when it comes to Shapes Dungeons, uh, getting that book to be the Atlas is a huge help, uh, no matter how late in the seat it is, unless you're already in 9 and found your map in there. Yeah, the uh, information does offset the uh, combat disadvantage. Yeah, and uh, so it looks like we are going to have the recorder here in level 6, or it's going to be the white sword item. Uh, it still could be the red ring, right? Oh, you know what? Actually, hold on a second. Um, no, it can't be, because we can't have the recorder at 9. That's correct. 
We could still have the red ring, though. Uh, we got two items left for them to find, and uh, we just have the white sword item and level six to figure out. Well, at this point in time, the white sword item has got to be either recorder blocked or... Well, if, it's, if the white sword item is recorder blocked, it's not going to be necessary, but it still could be power bracelet blocked. Yeah, I think we've only seen one power bracelet location so far. If that. Ooh, an unfortunate death for King Doll there, getting sucked into the. Uh, you know, five keys, you know, in any other seed, that would be a horrible thing, but, you know, not with the magic key. That's right, that's always a nice mugger room to see when you've got the magical key. to half a heart and here we go this is oh this is the worst a manhandler room in a diamond staircase and there we go nachibato is going to sip on that potion you might as well just take your losses and destroy it there we go oh one more hit left there we go Item? Nope, just the staircase. Ah, here we go. This, this could possible. be it. Yeah, it could be a push block room. Out. All right, here we go. Oh, no. Shutter room means it can't be a bush block, at least not for a staircase. Got awful again, but another uh, shutter door. Yep, this level six has been quite the tease. Yeah, at the rate this one's going, it may be a full clear or close to it. And of course, level six, one of the larger levels, you don't want to have to full clear that if you don't have to. I feel for both runners uh, right now, they're both going, oh man, I'm spending way too much time in these levels, but uh, they're both kind of doing the same thing in different levels, looking for an important item. Here we go. Nope. Oh, is it going to be all the way down in this corner here? No. Uh, here we go. I believe this is the room with the ladder. Well, that's correct. Oh, and it is recorder block for the Triforce tonight. So uh, we've got that. We we also have. Uh, I think that's it for. Our oh no! Blocks. That could have been a record. Yeah, that could uh, that item. You know, that room could have been recorder blocked. So wait, did you say the item or the uh, Triforce and eight was recorder blocked? Uh, yes, the ladder was in the Triforce room. Oh, so so then that means that you have to get the ladder to, to either dig level six, or you have to uh, get the power bracelet from the coast in order to get the recorder in 
level. Wait, hold on. So, yeah, that's right because uh, well, hold yeah, because the power bracelet could be having the white sword item, which is quarter. So I'm the quarter is here in six. But I saw that there was one room that looked like it could have been Dick Dogger block, so... I, I honestly think we've got ourselves a good old-fashioned chain reaction seed here. That's right, and uh, we got a nice puzzle to solve here for these drawners. King Doll is also in level 6 here. Oh, we may have our item here. Rupee boss, yeah. We do. It is the recorder. All right, so that means our uh, white sword item is either the wand, the red ring, or the heart, and level nine has the other two. I'm going to guess it's the heart. But at this point in time, you know, it's outstanding. You might as well check just in case it's the red ring. I mean, depending upon whether or not... Because don't forget, we still haven't seen level 9. Level 9 could still be power bracelet blocked. Yeah, it could be... Uh, actually, it could be any of the three. Raft, Recorder, or Power Bracelet. But either way, we do know that it is a double dip level 8 seed scenario. There we go, Triforce out of 6. So now, Nachibato most likely is going to go check out those power bracelet slots, or spots I should say, and... Yeah, he's uh, close enough. Probably going to check this raft spot and then uh, hit level 5. Or is going to hit level 5 right away. That also makes sense. Well, at this point in time, you know, it's like, okay, look, I know where this level is. I know I need to do it. I know I don't need to dig this level because I have all of the uh, items necessary to complete the game. Just gonna go Triforce and Blitz mode. Or go mode, or however you say it. Yeah, it's uh, definitely not a bad idea, especially, uh, you know, once you hit the hour mark and you still have quite a bit to do, uh, you're almost always gonna feel behind. Well, the good news is, though, is Nachibato is going to find this Triforce right here. Yeah, this will be a quick uh, 7 and 8, and then off to find level 9. Still not going to check that recorder spot. But you see, the thing is here, though, is that we know the... Re see, that's the thing is, is it's likely the recorder spot. You know, if it has the white sword item, it's not going to be important. If it's level 9, well, you're not ready to go into level 9 just yet, so why do you need that information? That's right, and then uh, not having very many spots left to check, um, you really don't feel the need to go looking for it real quick yet. Yeah, we already know where 7 and 8 is, so might as well just finish those levels off and then go start looking at the blocks. There we go. Back in level 7. Ooh, Nichibato starting off in the wrong direction, though. Yeah, this is back where the uh, white sword was. And of course, when we saw that map, we saw that this area was completely disconnected from the remainder of level 7. There we go, that's Triforce number 6 for King Doll. Yeah, we have a very tight race right now. Now, maybe King Doll's gonna check out level 9 here, or see if that's level 9. Nope. 
and it goes straight to five. That's Triforce number seven for King Doll. Uh, no Chibato now heading in the right direction in seven, so should be finishing this off shortly. Um, looks like it's uh, going to be about even time wise for uh, King Doll's power bracelet dig. And yeah, we're, we've got a match. Well, King Doll is going to use uh, that recorder here to check out what's under the recorder lake. Do we have an item or do we have a King level nine? We have an item. It is the heart container. So that means... Yeah, that means that the red ring is a 9. And yep, so level 9 has red ring and the wand. But now, where is that red ring? Or should I say, where is that level 9? There we go. That's the Triforce number 7 for Nachibato. So, you know what this means? This means it's going to be a race back to the ladder spot for both of these runners. Yeah, it's, uh, this is very tight right now. Here we go, King Doll with that power bracelet. So we're going to go check this location here. Or it looks I like he's heading right up to level 8 to finish that off. I mean, I would just get the checks out of the way while you're there. Yeah, with uh, with that level 8 position, uh, you can hurry up and check two power bracelet spots, uh, come whistle back to 8, and then check a third, so that might be the logic for both of them right now. But, you know, it's interesting, though, because, yeah, you know, it's, uh, well, I mean, King Doll was already first into back into 8 here, so if Nachibato had yeah, lingered and uh, looked and, you know, just popped to see, oh, there's level 9, then he would have been behind, but then at the same time he would have known exactly where to go to get to 9. But if that wasn't level 9, then that would have made King Doll, you know, further ahead. But it looks like Nachibato remembers the way to the ladder. And there we go, King Doll coming in from the other direction. And Nachibato going to be the first one to complete the Triforce. And we're now we're just looking for level nine. So we have, yeah, we've got four locations, or is it three locations? Uh, four. And uh, did we ever check the uh, western raft spot? Uh, yeah, we did. That was, oh, actually, wait, no, I don't think we did actually. No, because that, that's right, because the uh, white sword item was under Recorder Lake. Yeah, so it looks like they're uh, heading in opposite directions to check these power bracelet spots. Oh, I don't think we checked. Oh, yeah, there we go. No. So who's going to get first? And it looks like both of them strike out. Yeah, uh, I think they're going to be... Uh pretty close in time here. Ooh, actually gonna check for the uh, magical sword here for King Doll. Do we get it? No, we don't. And here we go. Now Nachibato is gonna check the uh, raft spot over here. Do we have a level 9? No, no we, we do not. Oh, it's getting closer and closer. But now we know that raft spot raft is only going to be required for level 3. So now it looks like King Doll is going to race up here to the desert spot to find this, uh, what's here in the desert uh, power bracelet location. Oh, and it looks like Nochibato is going to the grave push block. So uh, one of oh. them is going to be right and one of them is going to be wrong. Oh, it's, Ooh, and it's the grave. Well, now here we go. Nachibato is going to go check this item first. So that's a couple more seconds at least King Doll has to make their way over to the grave. 
Yeah, and looks like he's whistling right over to level 7, so gonna be pretty close. Now we'll see here, because Nachibato just needs to screen scroll here, and this is gonna be tight. Now, King Doll is closer. Technically speaking, King Doll is closer. Yeah, they're uh, they're gonna be within 10 seconds of oh, each you know other what? getting into 9. I just realized something. I don't think we checked the forgotten spot yet, did we? Uh... I don't oh, know, here's but level nine. Yeah, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Here we go. We are at level nine. We are looking for the roar of Ganon, and we are looking for a door that opens even when all the enemies, or should I say, a door that doesn't open even when all of the enemies are uh, defeated. Oh, Nochibato is going to check for Mags first, though. So uh, oh, here we go. A little, little bit behind. A little bit behind, but it'll help with Ganon at least a little bit. But that all depends on whether or not Ganon will be easy to find or not. And it is definitely a 12 herder. Yeah, that's a uh, huge savior for Nachibato right now. Yeah, that's going to make the trip worth it. But Nachibato still has yet to. Oh, here we go. Ooh, we have quick Ganon. Ganon right away. Wow. All right, King Doll has the white hockey stick, so uh, we're looking for either seven or eight hits. That's four, five, six, seven, and we have bacon. Uh, you know, the great thing about uh, cooking nowadays is that uh, you don't have to cook your pork chops to a hockey buck-like consistency for it to be done. That's right, medium rare is okay. All right, so now that we have bacon on King Doll's side, uh, what we are looking for is a shutter door that's going to automatically open. Uh, that means we've found the princess. Yeah, so every time we enter into a room that has a single shutter door, we are going to get excited. That's right. Even more excited than every time we saw a push block room with a shutter door. <laughs> well, no, it, well, excited, well, that's more like disappointed. Yeah, well, excitement than disappointment. Here we go, another mugger room for King Doll. And we bomb upwards. We can bomb upwards, and we can bomb to the right. I think King Doll is going to prioritize that one-off spot over to the right here. But it looks like nothing because you're not going to be able to get into that room unless... Well, you know, you can't get into that room then because uh, the princess can't be there. Although, you know what I would love to see? I'd love to see there be a single shutter door, but the princess is not behind it. But instead, it's a staircase to a one, you know, a, a one-off uh, spot that does have the prince. Yeah, that's always fun. Always wishful thinking, though. Oh yeah, just like a print, just like the princess in a shoot room. I mean, I could totally see there being like an advanced flag set that. You know, basically does away with all of the conventions that we're used to. And, uh, unfortunately here on Nochibato's side, looks like he, uh, forgot what has been checked and what hasn't. So oh, just no. trying to figure out where to go. And unfortunately, the longer it takes him, the less chance he's going to have. King doll. Ooh. Oh, shoot. Can't go that way. Nope. Just the dig dogger.
And I got another dig dog room guarding a staircase. Yeah, I feel like that's been the theme of this scene. We, we got a shutter? Oh, oh nothing. Uh, got our hopes up here for just a second. King Doll clearing out some of these rooms, uh, hoping for the compass drop here. Compass could be here. Nope. Now, the compass drop is going to give Nachibado a couple extra minutes, but... Yeah, right now, time is fading quickly for Nachibado. Uh, just got to get to that grave push block and uh, get in here. Uh, quick finding Ganon, so that's a plus, and just depends on where the princess ends up being and who can get to it quicker. And this was a, another time Nochibata was heading in the right direction of 9, but ended up veering off. Yeah, I have a feeling that Nachibato must have mismarked something. Yeah, this uh, unfortunately does happen sometimes. Uh, I know I do it with the uh, Grave Armos. Sometimes I'll accidentally click an X you on the uh, push block. I mean, time's running out, but, you know, there could always be a bait block. That is still a possibility. We have not oh, seen a bait be, block yet. Wouldn't that be something? But, no, nope, there oh, it is. Oh, we found her. Everybody in chat, get your GGs out for King Doll. Uh, finishing the race in an official time of 1 hour, 21 minutes, and 47 seconds. Or, I'm sorry, 42 seconds. And judging by Nachibato just standing there, I think uh, he was waiting for the shooter. Oh, no, there we go. He's probably just looking at his map. All right, and that, at that, Nochibato uh, decided to forfeit. Uh, understandably so, when you're looking for that last spot and you have a missed mark, it, it can get frustrating. Alright, we are first welcomed in chat by Nochibato. Um, so, the end of that race, how you feel? Oh, garbage. Absolute garbage. Yeah. I misplaced level 9. Yeah, unfortunately, level 9 was in the grave push block. Uh, looks like you probably have that mismarked. I do. I have that marked as a big secret. It's one of the actually four big secrets I have on the map, but I didn't think that level nine was over there. I thought it was earlier than that. Wait, four big secrets? Yep. So I knew I thought one of them was wrong, but I checked the other three. I didn't think that level nine was over that far. So I know I mismarked something. It's just... Yeah, and that was uh, really unfortunate to see because you were on your way over towards that push block. And you and King Doll would have been roughly within 10 seconds of each other entering level 9. Yay. But yeah, I got I got done with level 8. It's like, oh, yeah, okay, so I just need to go to level 9. Where's level 9? Uh-oh. And yeah, it's kind of... Um, 
went down from there. Yeah, it's uh, it's unfortunate to see, but either way, that was a very well fought race, and uh, definitely can hold your head high for everything except for that very end, just on a little miss mark. Uh, you know, it hurt you in the long run, but it was still a great race. Oh, that push block. Oops. So it wasn't one of it wasn't one of my four big secrets. It was just something else I marked off as done. I, no, I never even opened this. And uh, we are also joined in chat by the race's winner, King Doll. Uh, GGs. Uh, how do you feel about that race? GG. I feel pretty bad about that race. At least you didn't miss mark level nine. Yeah, I I knew that that, that that nine was my last spot. I had five left, and then I got the flute. It was mm -hmm. a it was a terrible seed for for like the wrong order that I did. But I don't know. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you guys were on pace for about a ten second difference entering level nine, but uh, No Chibato had it marked off on that spot, and uh, unfortunately never found it. But. Uh, yeah, it was a very close race throughout. Well, uh, I knew I, I couldn't check that spot because the power bracelet was my last item. <laughs> it was the only four spots left on the map. Yeah, both of you were, uh, aside from the ladder and power bracelet, uh, were pretty much item for item, Triforce for Triforce the entire race. <laughs> I mean, I felt like the seed was kind of trolling you to go into eight. <laughs> and eight was terrible, and it was huge, and it was a lot of uh, doors that shut behind you. You, could, you couldn't go back, and Petra's in the way. And... Oh my yeah, God. yeah. Uh, both and of it... you had uh, advantages at different points. Uh, King Doll, you found the silvers and the bow first. Uh, Nochibato found the ladder first. So uh, it stayed very even throughout. I mean, uh, I found the ladder at the very last position you could ever find the ladder in. <laughs> Everything else was was blocked. Yeah, yeah, and then of course it led to the recorder in six, which was blocking the Triforce in eight, because you know that's a thing. Yeah, and I the recorder did, was I blocking did. in six, it's, and I figured ladder was blocking seven, which it wasn't. Yeah, I I hadn't seen the the flute block in eight before getting the ladder. <laughs> that was the one room I missed, and it was both <laughs> Triforce and ladder. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, that was definitely an unfortunate level eight for both runners, uh, but I think it hit you just a little bit harder, King Doll. I mean, I knew I was I was behind at that point, so. But what can you do? The the game, and all the way to seven, and then <laughs> going back there, I thought the goal was the Triforce, but if there if there would have been a a, uh, a dig dogger behind. <laughs> I would have just. That's that. That's it. I'm happy tournament. I'm out. We were actually wondering if there was going to be a dig dogger behind it. Yeah, that would have been. That would have been terrible. <laughs> Way off in the Death Mountain, triple dip. Uh, that's not good. And then in nine, we we we've talked a lot about these uh, these offshoots in nine having having ganon but he's never there but this time he was in the in the tail and then and, and, and then of course i well, i almost full cleared anyway looking for zelda but anyway yeah it did take a little while to get to her but uh either way you found her and ggs yeah, the wish ropes in the overworld also. That's uh, should should have been a faster seed, but with this kind of uh, blocks all over, it's kind of tough. Yeah, first thing in the seed, I wanted to go check the ladder item. Walked onto that screen and got shot in the face. And nope, let's go somewhere else. Yeah, and then and and then. Uh... They put. Uh, I, I I didn't get to level one also until pretty late, and then one l led to three. Mm -hmm. So that combo would have been pretty good early because there was like silvers and here's the bow, and 
you could have had that very early if you'd gone there. I don't know if you did, but I did not. <laughs> I was like 40, 40 minutes. In. One was one of my last dungeons I found. Outside of three, I think. Yeah, you had about a 10 to 15 minute lead on getting the uh, silvers in the bow. And then also they put uh, a level on a raft. So you're not sure if the par brace is, is, is going to be needed. So you cannot like skip spots just to check the, 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 the PBs because of that stupid level 3. Yeah, the only way you can be sure is if you've already found everything in the overworld. Yeah, I was unsure at that point if it was gonna if maybe it was just a white sword item that was um blocked. So I was just searching for everything and turns out there were two locked dungeons and I didn't realize it. Oops. Yeah, I found the white sword item also very late. At like nine hearts. Alright, so uh, yeah, we're just kind of waiting here for you to finish off here, aren't you? Uh, you don't need to wait for that. I'm just trying to figure out where everything is. <laughs> Might as well. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. And uh, I think there's still air time too, so. why I marked I wonder what I was doing that I marked that off I'm gonna have to go back and watch my bot because that annoys me to no end yeah I feel like uh, it's something I do a lot I'll uh, mismark that push block when I do the grave armos yeah that might have been it Yeah, but that's what I get for doing the uh, no-look scroll on the mouse wheel on the tracker, so. Yeah. On that, uh, I kind of took over Jiggly, uh. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, I kind of took over, but do you have anything for the runners, Shigley? Uh, no, I don't. I mean, I, I give them a GG for certain, but, uh... Yes, Jiggly. <laughs> yes, Jiggly. <laughs> well, hey, we went through the entire seed without talking about, you know, uh, chocolate cream Oreo, uh, you know, chocolate eggs. Yeah, we did good, and uh, I think only about eight or ten puns total. Can go finish. So I'm assuming that the girl is actually in the seats in this dungeon somewhere, right? Yes, it is. I picked the I I I picked the wrong part to to, to look for her if I, if that's any hints. <laughs> if it's... You know what the worst part is? The worst part is is that uh, now I probably shouldn't say it while uh, we're still looking for the princess here, but I've already uh, uh, abused information that uh, King Doll said about where the pig was. You can oh, okay. Well, in that case. Uh... Yeah, it's uh, yeah, the boat, both the princess and the pig, were not that far off, really. Uh, well, I mean, within reason. Yeah, I think you are taking a similar path to what King Dol took, though, the whole way around. Actually, let's just take a staircase. There's, uh, assuming this is a staircase.
That's not a staircase. Oh, that just takes me someplace I don't want to be. I think this is the last staircase, so uh, that's not a good sign. Oh, actually. I think the best part is I don't have to worry about spoiling it for you because I don't remember where she's at. <laughs> I do. There was some there, somewhere down in the left the corner. I, I, I didn't go into the corner. I think I turned up the room before. I would have uh, reached the corner mm, somewhere around there. I mean, at this point, I think she has to be. I've been next to every other room when there's been doors. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I mean, the game could have been worse. Could have had tons of patches. <laughs> uh, wait, this wasn't tons of patches? No, it was just <laughs> tons of mold orms, though. You could have gone where the patches weren't, probably, but um, I don't think we did. <laughs> yeah, there were a handful. I feel like this was more of a dick dogger seed. Yeah, except, there were, there were except, for, except for level eight, I had like four patches or something, and in rooms that you don't want them in when you don't have the ladder. Yeah, I have to say, shout out to that! Shout out to that uh, one dig dogger in eight where you had to double dip. Mm -hmm. wasn't wasn't just an even you just you had to double dip the level. It's like you literally had to double dip that exact room. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't particularly happy, but it's. It's random, and you gotta go in there to get the ladder to go back to six, which is just... Completely ladder blocked. And I dug, like, the rest of eight trying to find the Triforce, and I found the compass. It's like, oh, it's the item room. I can go... Wait a minute. Okay. All right, there we go. So, yeah, that, the, so, yeah, so the princess was actually close to Ganon all along. Alright, well, I think we're uh, getting close to the point of wrapping up here. Uh, any last words, Jiggly? Nope. Alright, any last words, Runners? GG, nope. uh, thank you for putting on our show at 2 in the afternoon. Yeah, thanks for the restream and commentary and tracking and uh, all that you do. Uh, love from Sweden. All right, thank you, runners, for putting on a good show today. I uh, also want to thank Jiggly Saint and uh, Boletta for tracking and Diesel Pilot for doing our restream. Uh, coming up tonight, we have plenty of other races. I don't have the schedule pulled up right now, but uh, Speed Gaming will be pretty full of them. Uh, we have F. Coughlin and Dragon Dark on SG3 at 9 o'clock, and Zardia versus Captain Green 7 at 10 on Speed Gaming 5. All right, there we go. So, on that note, uh, thank you to everybody again, and we will see you tonight.